Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make sticky lamb ribs. Usually when we go to the butcher, when we buy half a sheep, we tell them to keep our ribs whole because we like making sticky ribs. So to this lamb ribs, I'm going to clear up the fat that's on top, the label, and rinse it and pat it dry and get back to you. Here's my lamb ribs, which I've taken the top of the fat and the label, which we removed, and thereafter we rinsed and patted it dry, but we still have some little bit fat on it. That will help us to cook our ribs. I prepared my roasting tree I cut a large onion into eight big portions and sliced it roughly. And I also have six large cloves of garlic and I put a splash of olive oil to the bottom. I'm going to take my ribs and make it sit onto the onions. Now I'm going to marinate my lamb ribs by using a generous splash of olive oil. A good grain of salt a grain of pepper a splash of lemon juice and a generous sprinkle of paprika and also a generous sprinkle of steak and chops spice. We are giving a generous layer of spice to create a bark. I've also caught some fresh thyme from my garden, which I'm just going to throw in. Now I'll cover this with my foil and let it rest for one to two hours. But if you have the time, you can also marinate and leave overnight. Two hours has passed and I've already caught my oven preheating for half an hour and I'm ready to pop this ribs into the oven to start cooking. I will keep this in the oven for two hours but after 19 minutes I will check on it. I've caught my oven on to 160. While my ribs are in the oven, I'm going to quickly make my sticky glaze for my ribs. Here I have a Mrs. Ball's chutney, honey, tomato sauce, and soy sauce. I am going to use three tablespoons of Mrs. Ball's. one tablespoon of honey, one tablespoon of 
tomato sauce and one tablespoon of soy sauce I'll give this all a good mix and thereafter I'll cover and keep aside till my ribs are done. It has been 1 hour 45 minutes and we checked on our ribs, they are done. As you can see, they're shedding quite a bit and it's nice and tender, the meat. Now I am going to use my glaze just to coat the ribs. I'm going to pop this into the oven for another 15 minutes without the foil and then it will be done. Fifteen minutes has passed and I'm ready to take my ribs off the oven. It's looking nice and lovely. I'm just going to allow it to rest till it cool and then we're ready to serve. Here you go, your lovely, tender, sticky lamb ribs. It's a little bit of a longer recipe, but it's worth it making it. I hope you'll give it a try. Thank you all for watching and enjoy.